Hi there! Welcome to another tutorial session. I'm Kat, and in today's video, I will be showing you how to seamlessly integrate our WordLine plugin into your WooCommerce site. Before we dive in, assure that you have an active WordLine merchant account, access to WordLine back office and back end of your WordPress WooCommerce site, last but not the least, your license key for our plugin. So for our first step, we will install and activate the plugin. So first log in to your WordPress site. And then from your WordPress dashboard, please navigate to plugins and click add new plugin. Now at the top, you will see an upload plugin button. Click that and choose the file. All right, now click install now. Now let's continue and activate the plugin. On the specified field here, just paste the license key and click activate license. All right, just a few seconds here. There you go. So welcome to our setup wizard. You may skip this for now and just follow through this tutorial, but you can always use this later if you run into any issues after you try setting up the plugin. So for now, let's just click, I don't need help setting up. All right, so we're back to the dashboard. Now I want you to go to WooCommerce settings and then click payments. Now please find the AG Worldline hosted checkout for WooCommerce and click that so we can finish the setup. This is our plugin settings page. Now let's go ahead and enable the plugin first by ticking this checkbox here. And then the next thing that you will need to set here is the test and live payment URL. So here I will be using the default URL or the general URLs. Now the URLs here depends on the account that you have with WordLine. So we do have other URLs here for Ants Worldline Merchant Account and Pay One Merchant Account. Now you can just copy here and then paste the links here in the general settings, okay? Now the next key items on the settings page is the PSP ID, API key, and API secret. I'll go ahead and enter the PSP ID now. All right let's leave these other two for now and don't forget to enable the plugin in test mode and next here is the operation mode here we have two types the first one is authorization while the other one is sale so for authorization this will put orders on hold until payment is captured while the sale one, this is the most used type as this will immediately charge the customer. So I will stick with sale. And after this, don't forget to click the save change button. Okay. All right. So the setting has been saved. Please remember that it's always a best practice to set up a payment gateway and run some tests on a staging environment. All right. So moving on to the next step. We will be configuring some settings in the WordLine back office. And I already pulled up the site here. And you will know if you are using the WordLine test account. When you look at the top left here, you will see the logo and you will see this test in red. All right, so let's continue and let me go ahead and log in first to the account. Just a second here. Okay, so if you don't have a WordLine test account yet, we have a guide for that, which you can find in our WordLine documentation on our website. So you just visit our site to check that. Now, once you're logged in, please navigate to configuration and click the technical information tab. All right, once you're prompted to the next page, please look for global transaction parameters. 
And on these settings, we will only configure the operation mode. So I will go ahead and choose sale. And don't forget to click the save button. Okay, there we go. So this has been saved now. Now, another thing here that is important to double check is the payment options on your account. You need to make sure that they are enabled or activated. So you can just go to payment methods area. There you go. So on our account, these are the payment methods that we have here. And you can see from the status, it says active. Now, on this list, if we can't see anything on your account, you can just click this Choose New Payment Methods. And when you're prompted to the page, you'll be able to add your preferred payment methods here. Okay? So another thing here, or another factor to take into account, is the currency. Now, to check that, just go down this area. And then currency. All right, so for our account, Euro is the set currency and make sure that it matches what you have on your WooCommerce settings, okay? So let's move on to the next step. We will be generating the API credential. So remember those two that we skipped earlier in the plugin settings? So this is how you can get that. So go back to technical information. And please look for API settings. Okay, so it says no API credential found yet. So we will just need to click this generate button to get those details. All right, so there we have it. Make sure that you copy this information for future references. You can save it somewhere in your notes. So. So give me one second here while I'm saving the credentials, okay? All right, and then once you're done generating the API credentials, don't forget to click again the save button. All right, just a second here while it's saving our settings. All right, there you go. So the settings has been saved now. And before we move to the next step, let's set up the webhook feature as well. So this feature functions as a critical safeguard to ensure that the website accurately receives the necessary payment data. So this is really important as well. Now, we only need three things here, the webhook key, webhook secret, and the webhook URL. Now, for the webhook URL, we can get it from the plugin settings page. So, before we generate the webhook credentials, let's copy this one first and paste it here on the endpoint URLs. Now, let's click the generate web API key button. And do not forget to save it as well for future references, okay? So give me a quick moment here while I'm copying our credentials. All right. And don't forget to hit save again. Okay. Now let's go back to the plugin settings page to fill in the information on the fields here. So let's start with the API key and then the API secret. One second here. And then the web key and the webhook secret. Okay, one minute here. There you go. And don't forget to save change button as well. All right, so the settings has been saved. Now, the last step is we will be doing some test payment to make sure that we have successfully integrated the plugin to your website, okay? So let's visit the shop. Let's add an item to the cart. 
proceed to checkout. So I already filled this out earlier, the shipping address, so we can continue paying using Worldline. And by the way, we do have test cards that you can use for test payments, which you can find on our documentation as well in the website. And this time I will be using our Visa card number. So let's continue. All right, so please so give me one moment here while I'm filling this out. Now, for the expiration date, you can choose any future date for this and any card code or CVV. All right, then let's click pay securely. There you go. So we have a successful test order. So when your tests are successful too, and you are ready to go live, you have to create a production account for Worldline. So if you don't have it yet, you can contact the Worldline sales team for instructions. Last tip, it's important to note that whatever changes you make in your test account, it must match in the production account, okay? Now, all of this that I've mentioned on this tutorial are also mentioned in our setup guide. So if you would like to check that out, just visit our website documentation. And if you run into any issue or you encountered an error on your test payment, you can always reach out to our support team and submit a ticket on our website. And we would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your day. Bye!